Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to import data from XML file to SQL Server table using C Sharp. So I will create a solution in the C Sharp console app and then I will move that particular code to the SSIS package. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got a file here, sellers.xml file and if I open this particular file in a text editor, so you can see that this file is open in Notepad++ and the file contains some person's data like their ID, first name, last name, email, gender and the country name. So this is the kind of data it contains and it contains 1000 records. So first of all we need to create a table in the SQL Server database and then we can write the code in the C Sharp and Sol app. So I have already created a table here, sellers table and the column names are exactly same whatever columns we have in the XML file like ID, first name, last name, email, gender and the country and if you see the data in this particular table so at the moment the table is empty. So let me open the C Sharp console app. So I have already written the code here and I will explain you the code and I will share the XML file with you and I will also share this particular code with you so that you can use it in your environment as well. So this is a C Sharp console app. So let me just go through the code what we are doing here. So in the first line I have declared a string variable connection string here and then I have declared other variables as well like SQL connection, SQL command. SQL connection is used to connect to the database and SQL command is used to pass a SQL command to the database. SQL data adapter is used to read the data and then we have declared a data set here. So a data set can contain a particular data and then we have used a XML reader so it can read the data from the XML file and then I have declared a SQL variable of a string type and I will be inserting the insert statement into this particular variable and then according to that columns in the XML file like ID, first name, last name, email, gender and company I have declared the local variables here and then this is the connection string value so this is my SQL server instance name this is my database name and we are using the windows authentication here now we are just creating a new connection here and this will be the path of the XML file that we are going to load so our file is situated in the D files location D files sellers .xml file so this is the file that will be loaded and then we are just inserting the data to a data set using the read XML function and we are opening a connection here and then we are running a for loop here and the loop will run for each record from the XML file so what we will do for each record we will get the ID value first name, last name, email, gender and company to the local variables those we have declared. So this value is getting fetched from the data set that we have populated using the XML file. And now for each record we are preparing this command here insert into sellers values and then these values are passed like for ID, first name, last name, email, gender and company name we are passing the values here. And we are replacing the single quote with a double quote. The reason is if you will pass a single quote then it might cause the issues with the insert statements in the SQL server. So that's why I'm just replacing a single quote with a double quote. But actually whatever data will be present in the XML file, the same data will be populated to the SQL server table. We are not modifying the data, we are just handling the single quotes here. Now in the SQL command, we are just passing the SQL query and the connection and then passing the SQL command here and then using a execute non-query. So execute non-query is used for like insert, delete or update. So this particular for loop will run for each record from the XML file and will insert the data into the sellers table. And as soon as the loop is done, then we are just simply closing the SQL connection. So this is the code that we are using here. And let me show you again that the sellers table is empty. Okay. So let me just execute the C Sharp console app and show you that this can populate the data from XML file to the SQL server table. So the process ran fine. And if I go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and if I rerun the select query then you can see that 1000 records have been populated to the sellers table. So the C Sharp console app ran very quickly and it has populated the data to the sellers table. So this was about like running the code from the C Sharp console app and now if you want to execute the same code from the SSIS package then let me just truncate the sellers table first. Alright so the table has been truncated now. And then let me just copy this particular code from here till here. Copy the code, open the SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package 
and I can just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window. A script task can be used to execute the C sharp .NET code or VB .NET code. So I can just right click and configure the script task. Click on edit script. So this will open the script editor for me where I can paste the code that I copied from the C sharp console app. So the script editor has opened and I can paste the code here. So the code has been pasted and if you wait for a minute then you will see that you will find some errors here uh, SQL connection the type or namespace is missing so I can click on show potential fixes and then I can add using system.data.sql client so the errors are gone now there is an error for the XML reader so I can click on show potential fixes and I can add using system.xml so now all the errors are gone everything seems good and I can go to the file menu exit and I can click on OK so that it will save the code in the script task for the SSS package. So our package is ready to be run and if I recheck it the seller's table is empty and I can just execute the SSS package. So the package ran fine and it was very quick to run the package as well. So I can go back to the SSMS and I can recheck the data from the seller's table. So now you can see that the data has been populated to the seller's table and it has loaded the XML file correctly. So I think this is how you can import an XML file into a SQL Server table using C Sharp. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.